Last week I went to the YouTube New Zealand launch where I met Lord Sardonic, Wizard Needs Food Badly, Musical Kiwi 13, and Sharpie, who I've managed to interview, and you'll see it after this. Well, I'm Sharpie, found on YouTube. Where else? Uh, the channel name is Welcome Stranger. I told a very bad joke that it was named after the uh, largest gold nugget found in Australia, which was aptly called the Welcome Stranger. And just like that, I'm a, very, a large mineral lump that should be underground, but I don't think it went over. You are a bona fide YouTube celebrity. I, I am bona fide now. I have the stickers to prove that I am a YouTube celebrity. So do people recognize you IRL? I'm sorry, what? In real life! Oh, in I real life! See, so yeah, that how that much of an internet anymore. person I am, I don't even know what Jeez. IRL is. Sorry, I'll just BRB for my AFK. Uh... <laughs> oh, no! <clears throat> See, this is what happens when people come to my house in, as well. In real life, like the, the funny thing about in real life is almost every second day I get people asking, do I know you from somewhere? And I think it's my evil twin, but I have a feeling they're seeing me somewhere. And saying, I know this guy from somewhere. I hate him from somewhere and I don't know where it is. So I just remain respectfully quiet about the alter ego of Sharpie. They hate your self-deprecating humor. The self-deprecating humor. They're hating on you hating on yourself. Well, that's right. Imagine me in a mirror. Self-deprecating to a mirror back to myself and then self-deprecating back again. It seems like a paradox. In it is a paradox. I can't actually it's be in the same room as myself. Favorite thing on YouTube? Oh, apart from myself, of course. Of course. Oof, gee, that makes it tough. Uh, no, the thing that I love on YouTube is when people make a video which is either of themselves or they make their own content, which is genuinely interesting to watch. You're going to be um, on YouTube forever? You think? You put out a weekly video. Uh, yeah, much, uh, much to the chagrin of most people, I would say. Uh, is it ever going to stop? Whenever I run out of content or I really get sick of it. Describe yourself in three words, two noises, one number. <laughs> <laughs> three noises? No, three words. Or three words. Two noises, one number. Or you can do three, two, one of anything. Well, three three words uh, off the top of my head. Let's let's go enigmatic, let's go mysterious, and nutcase. Ladies, you can see his profile on rsvp.com, adult matchmaker. <laughs> and Aussie, Aussie matchmaker, or whatever, like trying to think of all the other ones that are out there. Ratedog.com. <laughs> so we got mysterious, enigmatic, and. Mysterious, enigmatic, and a nutcase. Okay, and two noises. Two noises would be. <laughs> would be one, and uh, probably. Woof! <laughs> would be the other. I find that both arousing and creepy. It is arousing and creepy. It really sums me up. If you had to sum me up in two words, it would be arousing and creepy. Alright, well, we've summed you up in two words now, three noises. Th oh, three, uh, oh. You know what, we're changing it up. Three, two, one, the whole point of it you is to just... You keep changing the rules for your interview, it's... That's the point of the three, two, one segment. Just go with your, go with what you want. You know, I don't care. It's all about you. This is your platform to describe you <laughs> using three of I, I'm, I'm very undescribable. <laughs> and yet he did it anyway. And, uh, and yet I tried to think of some words. Alright, so we've gotten six words, two noises. Let's go with one number. One, one number. See, if I rule out the obvious 69, because we are in the Hilton, of course, and 69 just comes to memory for some reason. I, I don't know why. And green. The room's not green enough for my All life. right, we're going to go with a colour. A colour? Well, it's got to be green. You're green. My green. Are you green? Am I green? Yeah. Right now? Are you green right no, now? I'm a paste, pasty uh, pink at the moment. No, see, that's LCD glow. LCD glow. That, that, I think, is how you know someone's actually from the net, is that they've got the glow. <laughs> So I've fallen in love with Sakina from YouTube International, a beautiful young lady. She stole my heart. She gave it back to me though, which was, was quite kind of her. But love is such a beautiful thing that I thought I had to put together this quick video. To remember the good times. So Sakina, if you're watching, I still love you. Enjoy. It, it reminds me of Romeo and Juliet in the 21st century with a website. It's forbidden. And it's YouTube. That is YouTube. That's what YouTube is all about, yeah. romance. You're from corporate, I'm from user. Two different worlds, Look, two different families. Two We're different not supposed to... And we've killed my heart. I know, that's the feeling I get every time. It's beautiful. It's amazing. This is going to be a hard one. 
That's yeah. alright. I'm a peaceful man and I'm understanding and I'm, I'm, very, I'm very open. I know, I appreciate it. See, that's what I look for in, in me. <laughs> but tell me more about you. I mean, see, Sakina and I are engaged. We're going to get married. We live too far away, you see. It's one of these kind of internet romances that kind of blossoms out of nowhere. An email was exchanged, the video was seen, and before you know it, here we are in New Zealand. Yeah. Tell me about it. I just fell in love with your free house video. So did I. Yeah. Um, and, and I fell in love with your words. It was your words that could capture me there. There was a fire inside. No. You are crazy. <laughs> what? Because I held up a free hug sign in back yeah, of my arm? Exactly. If I'm crazy, it's because I loved you too much. It's because I loved you too much. Oh my god, this god is the first me. time somebody has said that to me. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. That's the first time someone's ever said that to you. Yeah. I tell everyone I love them. I love you. Hey, man, this is over. She's faking Aww. it. I know when it's over. No, it's, it's <laughs> not over. It's not over. It never began. I know. Just. Oh, suddenly, suddenly, you might be one of my ex-girlfriends. She killed my pets. No. I wouldn't say that my life is better because you're out of it now. No, you won't say it, but you'll think it, and you'll you'll know it. You'll be like, no, no, no. I would never. I love you, Sakina, I love with all of my heart. I too. And I thought it was so. It's alright, I gotta go for my camera. How you going, sweetheart? Can you edit this back so I can send it to Sakina? If you look for me on Google tomorrow and you find that I am not there, then she's banished me to the blackness of the internet without Google. It's true. Yeah, it's true. And this is why you be careful about entering into relationships with Google people. The romance goes wrong at Google and you're out. So that's it for my New Zealand trip. Musical Kiwi 13 is actually coming to Australia in the coming weeks and is going to drop by, so you'll see an interview with him not too long from now. Thank you to everyone who made the YouTube New Zealand launch what it was. And as is custom, I'd like to send out a salute to the man, the myth, the legend, the man with the college quarterback looks, the genetically modified physical specimen of human excellence, Steve Grove. Steve, I salute you. Until next time, guys, take care and drop by sometime. I live here.